welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to learn about arrays what is the definition of the array an array data structure is a data structure consisting of collection of elements and indices so here starting from 0 to 3 these are the indices so we can call this number index which is pointing toward the value which is 12 so 12 14 70 10 these are the values and these are the indices so we can access the value by using this index if i want to access the value of 70 then i want to use 2 to access this value so why we are going to discuss array because array is very important data structure it is used to store many values with single variable name in memory so add multiple values into array this is the main reason that we are going to discuss this topic in our lectures so syntax of the array is array name size of the array and the value 1 value 2 value n so if the size of the array is 4 then 1 2 3 and here is the data type basically db or dw is the size mention size according to the variable and here are the values so if you want to declare array like the size is 40 then you can use duplicate keyword dup that will store same value into 40 locations so thank you for watching this radical lecture now we are going toward implementation of the array with very important example so here mount c empty c and now added array prog dot asm and here you can say that model is small stack is 100 and here you can say data and string 1 end of the string string 2 end of the string here put the message enter string and here you can say that string is and after that here display the message of the length string 3 so length of the string and after that enter for enter you can use ASCII or hexadecimal values and db 0 ah 0 dh and at the end of the sign so you can use 0 dh or 0 ah register or you can use 12 13 line feed and carriage return by using line feed 10 and 13 or like this way so also add keyword db here db add db and after that declare a length variable db 0 and also declare 
an array variable str db 11 is the length and the duplicate this value which is question mark because we are going to initialize question mark so now write code and first of all we are going to move data into ax register which is used to take input and then move data into stack register and now we are going to display the message by using ah 09h move dx offset string 1 and interrupt 21 h so end of the program move ah 09 zero four ch and interrupt twenty one h and here simple right and so save and check the program all is well or not so for this we are going to use nasm instead of added there is no error and then ring obj exe and well so edit now and same again display message on the screen 09 h and move dx offset string 2 interrupt 21 edge and again display the message string 3 and the same statements move edge 09 edge move dx offset string 3 in 21 edge so save and also to add these lines copy and here paste so change the name to enter and also add here enter I think good exit the program nasm link exe and look at here into string string is length of the string so here are all the messages and look at the new thing that is into string and the new line string is and the new line length of the string is so added or program is good till now so now we are going to use loop and counter register to perform this task and here after this message First of all, move cx 
so move 10 into CX register because CX is the counter register and used to execute the loop and now we are going to use another register which is SI register source index register which is going to use for strings so offset str we are going to initialize this string str so it will automatically go from starting to end so after this we are here start loop input loop and here is the loop and call the loop input so now inside the loop we can use move ah take the input 0 1 h and after that move 21 h interrupter and then move value into si so no need to mention the string so like because we are going to move str into si offset address so here just move al into si and after that compare if al which means we are going to compare a register is it as enter or not so if it is enter then we are going to break this loop so 0 dh so this is hexadecimal code or assembly statement which is used for enter so jump if equal j e exit loop call exit loop we are going to use jump instruction now increment in si increment in length because the initial value of the length is 0 and here increment in the length and increment in the si now here exit loop jump condition and now display the string here so we are going to move a h 0 9 h move d x offset str in 21 h so like that so save this one so after that we are going to display length and here string one then enter then only string string two which is so after string two display this message so cut from here and paste it here and now after that here we are going to display the length of the string and length first move variable so add forty eight into length then move 
into DL register because we are going to display length and move it 0 1 and interrupt 21 at 0 2 and after that save this program So 0 1 H 0 9 0 2 A H so save and exit mason so in instruction syntax error syntax error undefined symbol exit loop so 33 31 and 3026 so edit the program first of all here what is the problem exit loop so add colon here at the end of exit loop and one thing more that is we are going to store this symbol into string which is dollar sign in double quotation and move si into bl so that's why we are going to use cx 10 because we can only store 10 characters into this string so the last one will be at the end of the string which is dollar sign now save and exit the program masm and syntax error at line number 23 only one error so where is the error so so here is the error at line number so if i want to execute again so like line number 24 so how you can identify the error like this line number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven twelve and this is also a line 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so so also here is the line that is 24 and interrupt and now you can save the program and exit there is no error so here obj link and after exit so enter string Fahim string is Fahim and length is 6 so you can also execute Fahim IRF so our flow so again execute assembly language and here 3a so the length of the string is 3 thank you for watching this video